What up, nerds? My name is Clay Cooper, and I'm the director of test prep at Prep Expert. I'm also a perfect scorer on both the SAT and the ACT. And today, I want to talk to you about my five best tips for the ACT's math section. The five tips I'm going to cover in this video are first, to understand the importance of practice as you prepare for the ACT's math section. Second, to set aside your calculator as you do math problems. Third, to make your layups. Fourth, play to your strengths. And fifth, keep it moving as you prepare. So we'll take each of these tips one by one. My first tip is to make sure that you understand the importance of practice as you prepare for the math section. Let me explain what I mean. The ACT math section is extraordinarily hard. It's way harder than the SAT's math section. It's probably way harder than any math test you've ever faced in high school. It's extremely difficult. And if you want to show up and do well on it on test day, you have to face it realistically in some practice tests as you prepare to take the real ACT. There really is no substitute for sitting down and taking a real ACT math section from a past ACT as part of a practice test to prepare you. Uh, you have 60 minutes to answer 60 questions. Those questions Questions can range from anything from uh, basic algebra and arithmetic to really complicated geometry and trigonometry and anything in between. Uh, the strategy that you're going to need to employ as you go through the section, the pacing that you'll need to follow as you go through the section, all of these things are really difficult to manage. Uh, there really is no substitute for facing them, doing a dry run. So make sure that as you prepare for the ACT, you understand the importance of taking realistic practice tests and especially of taking realistic trips through an ACT math section. If you wanna do well on the ACT math, you have got to practice a lot and realistically. My second tip for the ACT math section is one that you might have a hard time taking seriously, but I've got to tell you it is super important as you prepare. And that's this, set aside your calculator unless you're doing a pure calculation. Now I have a really hard time getting a lot of my students to take this seriously. Uh, they wanna use their calculator a lot. They think that it helps them a lot in the math section. But I'm here to tell you, if you over rely on your calculator, your score will go down in this section. Think about it this way. Do colleges need to know if you're good on a calculator? No, they need to know if you understand math. So the ACT, with that in mind, has been carefully designed so that you cannot beat it using a calculator. You can use a calculator on pure calculations, adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, exponents, and roots. But if you're using your calculator to do anything else, you're probably trying to answer the question the wrong way. You're being inefficient. You're probably not helping yourself. You may miss that question. So. Again, I have a really hard time getting students to take me seriously on this, but remember, in an effort to raise your math score, I am telling you, you should put your calculator aside probably more often than you do. Really, you should only be using it for pure calculations in the ACT math section. My third tip for the ACT's math section is to always hit your layups. Here's what I mean by that. In basketball, a layup is a short, easy shot. If you miss a layup, it's gonna be really costly for your team, and since it's so easy, you really should never do that. In the ACT's math section, you've gotta make sure that you get correct the easy questions. So, you can bet that on your ACT's math section, there are going to be questions on things like unit conversions, basic arithmetic, uh, like fractions, percentages, that sort of thing, exponent rules, linear equations, systems of linear equations, order of operations, that sort of thing. These are all topics that you probably learned a long time ago and have used ever since. So you need to make sure that you get those questions right in the math section if you want to do well. You need to grab the low-hanging fruit, you need to hit your layups, you need to make sure you get the easy questions correct. There will be no surprise on test day when those questions are in the section. They're going to be there, I promise. So show up ready to get them right. Make sure that you brush up on any topics like that, any, any of those basic topics that you might be rusty on. It's okay to be rusty right now, but you gotta fix that before test day so that you can make sure you hit your layups and get the easy questions right in the ACT's math section. My fourth tip for the ACT's math section is really cool and interesting, I think. It's very strategic. 
It's called playing to your strengths. Here's what I mean by that. In the ACT's math section, you'll have 60 minutes to answer 60 questions. If you've ever tried that before, or even if you can just do that math in your head, you know that that's a challenge. It's really, really difficult to finish the whole math section on time. Uh, most students don't. Very few students get through the whole thing without being rushed at all. That's okay, especially since we know that going in. The way that that should affect our strategy, though, may not be obvious to you. And here's how it should affect your strategy. Play to your strengths. Make sure that you spend time working on the things that you're good at, the questions that ask about topics that you understand. Attack the things that you're good at. If you struggle, say, with trigonometry and you come across a trigonometry question, well, if you only have limited time left, the time you might spend on that trigonometry question is probably better spent on a different type of question that you understand better. If you're really good at trigonometry, then you might want to devote more time to trigonometry questions at the expense of something that you you don't understand as well, something that you're always going to have a harder time with. So playing to your strengths again means as you prioritize which questions to attack and how to spend your time in the ACT's math section, make sure that you devote plenty of time to the things that you're good at and don't waste too much time struggling with things that you don't understand as well. My fifth and final tip for the ACT's math section today is to always keep it moving. Here's what I mean by that. Again, in the math section, you'll have 60 minutes to do 60 questions, as we talked about in the last tip. That means that there's a lot of time pressure on every question and in the section as a whole. You have got to make sure, if you want to do well in the math section overall, that you don't get bogged down on any one particular question as the section goes on. If you end up spending four or five minutes on a, on a single question, that is going to cost you at the end of the section. It's going to mean that you can't get to maybe two or three other questions that you would otherwise have gotten to. So you've got to make sure that as you go through the section, you don't get bogged down. It's much better to miss one question and move on from it quickly than it is to spend four or five minutes on it, maybe get it right, but at best cost yourself the time that you would otherwise have to answer two or three other questions at the end of the section. So again, don't get bogged down on any question, no matter how difficult. If you've given it a couple honest tries and you can't figure it out, move on. It's better to keep moving. It's better to face more questions so you can get those other ones right. So those are my five best tips for the ACT's math section. Please don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful. You can also subscribe to Prep Experts YouTube channel for other videos just like this one. And in fact, we'd like for you to leave us a comment in this video. Let us know what you'd like to hear about in our next video. What do you want advice on from a two-time perfect score? We might feature your comment as a topic for our next video. In the meantime, there's a coupon code in the description below this video that you could use at our website, prepexpert.com, to get exclusive offers on all of our products, from courses with myself or another one of our instructors, to tutoring if you'd prefer that. So until next time, keep working hard.